they, they overdo it. They like flatten mm. all the vowels. It's mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. Uh, uh. it's just not good. I think that movies don't do the Australian accent justice. I feel like I've lived here long enough to pick up the Aussie accent, you know, mm-hmm. when people are trying to do it and doing it bad. Yeah, people try and do Australian accents and it just sounds this like this weird hybrid of like American, English, South African, like don't really know where you're from. It's definitely like just different degrees of bogan. Sometimes we end things in like a question, but it's not meant to be a, a question. question. Sometimes oh. we end things in a question. Okay, I feel personally attacked <laughs> right now. <laughs> Especially regarding Australia's plain packaging experiment. Like experiment. Like, who do you think we are? Australia's plain yeah, packaging says Australian experiment. in an Australian accent. Government data. He says data. We would never say data. We also flatten the T and turn it into more of a D. So it's just like data. Data. Like a baby's first word. Data. 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 Soften and elongate that A sounds like mm. ah. What I'm quite baffled about with this video is if it's a voiceover, why didn't they just get an Australian to no. do it? No. Nine hundred dollar dues. Tobias, did you accept us? I love this clip so much. It was an emergency call. It was an emergency. <laughs> this episode got more than just the accent wrong. It got our culture wrong. It's like they got every typically Australian yeah. word and just jammed it in yeah. here. I feel like this is where the term dollary dues was born. Yeah, but I've never used it ever. You don't? No. Nah. Oh, I use it all the time. Yeah, I know. I laugh at you. <laughs> I almost think it's so bad it's good. And I think the best thing is people really do think we sound like this on yeah. the daily. Let's cut the BS and get real. Why this pure? I didn't even realise that was Robert Downey Jr. What? for a second. All those people worth being is this a joke? I think some of it's pretty good. Ooh. Like mm. it's not it's not awful. No. But it's so odd coming out of his mouth. Yeah. I I feel like I need subtitles. I don't understand yeah. a word he is saying. <laughs> to me it's just like, I don't know. I think he's like, he's so iconically like Tony Stark. So yeah, 100%. hearing a really, really broad and not fantastic Aussie mm, accent is, mm. is chilling in a yeah. way. <laughs> Imagine if Iron Man was Australian, now that would be funny. Yeah, nah, I'm Iron Man. Okay, the Aussie accent is like indescribable, but I just know it's not that when he talks in his own person but if you give him a oh Benedict Cumberbatch so this is also really sad because I he's very talented love him two people and a oh no the truth I'm willing to expose those <laughs> I'm like loving it I'm like it's great <laughs> powerful and most repressive of regimes it just sounds like his voice but muffled like someone's put a hand over his mouth and he's just speaking. It doesn't yeah, sound Australian, no. it doesn't really sound Kiwi, it doesn't sound American or British. I don't know, I don't know what he's landed on. Again, just get an Australian actor, like the entire movie is about an Australian. This is yeah. really bad. I thought it was all right. Dude, this is really just destroying people I like today. I, I don't know, I don't think that that was too bad. God help me, the baby! Okay, this is iconic. Crediting me with the perfect murder. Oh, she sounds British! She sounds British. More than anyone else. What happened? Oh. You know what? I think it sounds South African. Why is she mumbling? Do we mumble? A little bit. <laughs> My baby daughter. My baby daughter. Like, that is good. Um, it sounds like uh, we're back during, like, the gold rush. Look, it's not, it's not terrible. Like, she has a really, really good run. And then it's like, oh no, now I'm South African. <laughs> it's made me think that the Australian accent is probably a lot harder to nail than mm. it would seem for Australians. Right. I think it maybe it'd be different if we saw someone trying to do an Australian accent that we hadn't seen in an iconic role before. I think at the end of the day, we can just firmly conclude that Australian accents are the best and no one can imitate them. I don't it's know. It's hard to imitate. You know, we're a thing of beauty. Maybe you just have to leave us as we are.